Hello everyone, um, it's Harun again. Welcome to the Out of the Matter for this week. This week's subject matter is of course um, the discovery of the mass grave in uh, Kebang Kelian and uh, Padang Besar. 28 camps have been uh, discovered. 100 over mass grave have also been discovered. Um, one wonders what is happening. One would have thought mass grave could be found in Brazil or Kenya or Rwanda but not in Malaysia, but here we are. We are facing the, uh, a spectacle of uh, humans being imprisoned against their will. A prison camp right within our border, which watchtowers with uh, cages and with pens. And we have mass grief right here in Malaysia. It is a national shame to me. To say that it is a horrible, horrible piece of news is an understatement. It is outrageous to think that this could happen in our country. You know, we shout and scream about the ISIS killing fellow Muslims, killing Christians in the Middle East. We shout and scream about the uh, Palestinians uh, being tortured and killed by the Israelis. And here we are, uh, housing. We are housing prison camps in our own territory where people are trafficked and people are tortured and killed for commercial purpose. Now, if that is not outrageous, I do not know what is. Now, there are reports that the existence of the camp have always been known by us way back in November last year. Singapore Straits Time, for example, um, reported that a personnel from a general operation force involved in the combing exercise said the site in police were found earlier in January this year. Just now, I saw a Malay Mail uh, report saying that today we have arrested 12 police officers uh, in connection with um, mass grave. So how could we suddenly, out of the blue, within two days, arrest 12 cops? And yet, here we have 28 camps, detention camps, 100 mass grave, under our own nose, all this while, and we did not know about it, apparently. The signs have always been there. In fact, last year, in 2014, the US Department of State have relegated Malaysia from Tier 2 to Tier 3 for its um, uh, human trafficking classification. And Tier 3, mind you, is the worst tier in the United States uh, human trafficking list. And uh, being in Tier 3, we are in the same class as uh, Venezuela, Thailand and Gambia in terms of uh, human trafficking. And I quote from uh, the US Department of State's uh, a website. It says, Malaysia, Tier 3, is a destination and, to a lesser extent, a source and transit country for men, women and children subjected to forced labour and women and children subjected to sex trafficking. Refugees in Malaysia lack formal status or the ability to obtain work permits under Malaysian law, making them vulnerable to trafficking. The government of Malaysia does not fully comply with the minimum standard for the elimination of trafficking. So all the signs were there. And yet, we probably close an eye or close both eyes to the problem. Until now, we have discovered a mass grave. Sometimes we wonder why our borders could be so porous, could be so easily encroached upon. And this is not a mere encroachment. This is an encroachment and the establishment of, of camps. Now, that is frightening. I mean, if we talk about enemies wanting to invade us, we're talking about enemies encroaching into our borders, establishing camps with the intention of invading us, and we do not know about it. Uh, that's a thing to ponder this week. Thank you very much for watching.